Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning to Richard. Good morning, Sean. Morning. Morning, morning Randy. How's everybody doing today? Fantastic. Doing great. About yourself. Awesome. DCI is completed. Check that off the list and on to the next thing. And we're Richard and I are very excited to have Sean King from US Bands on with us this morning. And we're going to be getting started with our a first official coffee talk where we are able to display, ta-da, our coffee talk mugs. <laughs> so, well, we're, getting we're, 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 we're getting real. We're getting real here, Sean. We're, we're getting real, man. <laughs> Between the, the purple shirts and the con summer office display and everything, we're getting real. You got it no, going. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so we're hitting the ground running, and, and we all know that uh, the the end of drum course season signals the beginning of marching band season for high school marching bands across the country. And I know that, mm -hmm. that uh, we're going to be in the thick of it here very, very soon. And so, Sean, I know a lot of people don't know much about U.S. bands. So mm -hmm. Richard and I just wanted to get you on to talk about it because it you guys are impacting and reaching a lot of folks and a lot of schools across the country. We wanted to kind of pick your brain a little bit and see what's going on with us bands. What's new, what's uh, you know, what's been happening over the last few months. No, appreciate it. And thank you both for, um, uh, for having me on today. It's uh, as you said, the end of one season becomes the, the beginning of the, uh, of the next. And uh, we're hitting the ground running. Uh, we had a pretty, exciting summer uh, season doing uh, a lot of educational events and in conjunction with DCI uh, and the Blue Devils, but also, uh, you know, uh, some of the other drum corps working with us uh, on clinics and uh, workshops for band directors, really using the, the summer season as uh, professional development and student development. Uh, so everybody can hit the ground running when, uh, when band camp starts, which either you're in it or you you started a, a week or two ago. So you're in the thick of it as a, as a music educator right now. Uh, U.S. bands, uh, you know, has been around for about, uh, this will be our 34th season. Um, and we didn't take 2020 off. We had a, uh, uh, we had a virtual season. So we, we kept the, the streak intact uh, because we're there for the students and we're there for the music educators. And no matter what we do, uh, we're going to, we're going to do our best to uh, allow those programs to grow and develop on their own terms. Um, our system is uh, a little bit different than some of the other systems that um, band directors are used to, that we, we kind of break down our classifications based on the number of students in the band. Uh, and uh, then we further subdivide those by um, a an open class. So uh, open class bands are a little bit um, uh, more uh, uh, financially, you know, secure. There are uh, stable organizations over a long period of time, great booster organizations, great support by, from the administration. Uh, A-class bands are developmental, right? You know, so they're in the intermediate uh, phase or beginner phase. So we kind of make sure that the band director has the opportunity to choose the pathway that's best for them and best for their program. They could be rebuilding. Uh, they could be coming back from COVID. Uh, they could, there could be all sorts of things going on and it's really, really difficult to, you know, approach each program uh, almost as a cookie cutter. You kind of have to have to look at them and say, what is on the field at this point in time and, and what kind of evaluation and feedback can we give to those, um, uh, to those students and to those staffs and instructors. And I know uh, Richard had the, the pleasure of coming out last year and, and I, I probably doing your first uh, U.S. Bands event last fall. Uh, get a feel for what we're about. We do a, a couple of other things with clinics and ways, especially early in the season. So bands are um, they are well well taken care of, and it's really a full time service approach that we we take throughout our adjudication and as well as our ensemble relations. So we're exceptionally excited because this is our first year to work with Con Selmer uh, and uh, Ludwig Musser, and that brand is really our um, our. Uh, cornerstone for this year as being presenting sponsors. And we have a couple of events out there, the Ludwig Musser Classics, uh, which are going to be really exciting to uh, partner with the team here at Con Selmer. That's awesome. Richard, you got something? Yeah, Sean, thanks so much for being here. Can you talk just a little bit about um, the, the season, um, but maybe just give us an idea of where in the country you guys host your events? Uh, yeah, just for the folks exactly. That may not uh, know. 
Oh, for sure. Um, we're um, it, it, we've just been in some uh, in some meetings uh, over the DCI week, and and we uh, we've been talking with our new CEO at uh, uh, Jim Verrett, and he's uh, he kind of approaches it as a smiley face. If you take the United States, uh, and with our uh, association with Western bands, uh, the Western Band Association in California, where we have about uh, twenty events about 125 bands that participate in California. If you draw that across uh, the South, we do about 15 events in Texas. Uh, we have just over 200 performances scheduled for this fall there. Um, and then you, um, you come up the East Coast and um, that's really where our, uh, where our strength is. When we, when we started this thing in, in 1988, uh, we started with one event at Giant Stadium with 24 bands in it. And now uh, if you take those um, those bands along the eastern uh, seaboard, uh, there's probably about 400 uh, different ensembles that are participating there in about 70 different events. So if you see that that smiley face when you look at the United States, that's that's pretty much where our events are. Cool. And when do you guys start and when is your championship officially? Sure. Uh, we start uh, September 10th. Uh, we start with three events uh, along the East Coast, and then we gradually pick up uh, for our entire season. We're we're looking at 100 events. Uh, 75 of those are your local festivals that you uh, that bands use as their fundraisers and your typical you know Saturday night uh, type. And as we as we start to roll through the season, we have bigger events uh, such as uh, the Ludwig Muster Classic I mentioned at MetLife Stadium outside of New York City. We have um, we have 55 event, uh, 55 bands in that particular event. Um, we, we kind of roll into our state championship uh, season, which is the latter part of October, where we host five state championships. Most of those are uh, along the East Coast. And then we cap everything off with the national championships. Um, those are, again, back at MetLife Stadium. Uh, and then we have, uh, that's where the open class bands are. The A class bands are in Allentown at uh, J. Bernie Crumb Stadium, uh, kind of in the historic history legacy of, uh, of DCI marching activity. Uh, a lot of things happening there. And if I can pl put a plug in also, we're at AT&T Stadium, uh, we're trying something a little bit different down in Dallas this year with a Tuesday event. Uh, we have great response there. We have uh, 25 bands participating there, giving, uh, you know, uh, giving those bands a little bit different of an opportunity to get into a huge stadium early in the season uh, and get a read, but also for some of the other bands that don't normally, you know, go on to uh, larger championship venues, it gives them uh, a really special experience for their, uh, for their students. So it's kind of exciting. And then if I jump to the West coast, we end that season uh, with the Western band association championships weekend of um, uh, November, 1920. You guys are busy. There's a lot going on. Uh, there's uh, two, 260 judges. There's about uh, a little short of 600 uh, different judging assignments. There's uh, all together probably about 700 bands, 120 events. Yeah, yeah. They're like, well, <laughs> it's its own thing. Let me tell you. It's, yeah, you uh, guys it's don't go small on. at all, do you? <laughs> uh, you know, the, it, it, you got to put as much as you can into those 10 weeks. Absolutely. We're with you. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I know we're going to be checking in with you and, and Con Summer and Ludwig Musser are, are proud to be associated with the events and, and uh, really excited about some of the educational things we're, we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we can dig further into those with our next visit yeah, um, yeah. in the next few weeks, but uh, certainly yeah. appreciate the time today. Sure. If I, uh, one, one thing that's really important when, when we were talking about some new, uh, new opportunities and advantages, I'll keep it quick. We're, um, we're really excited to be working with uh, Eric Prince and Gary and Bryant on the traditional show style uh, opportunities that oh, yeah. we started yeah. last year with Prairie View A and M uh, and uh, ran one event in Texas last year. And this year we've added three more. Uh, we're going to be in Montgomery, Alabama, uh, Petersburg, Virginia, and Raleigh, North Carolina. And those shows are just coming together exceptionally well because the word of mouth is spreading that we want to be able to um, uh, celebrate that uh, entire uh, that entire genre of uh, of artistry, really, and performance. 
uh, and evaluate on a on a basis uh, that is that is specific to those groups. And we've been getting a lot of great uh, opportunities to speak with people throughout the DCI tour, throughout Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and uh, and Georgia. And we are excited uh, that that's going to be uh, a main uh, main focus of our of our growth this year and into the future. And uh, Con Selmer has been unbelievably supportive in in making those things happen. So maybe we can do a breakout on just those events, and we can yeah, we can invite Eric to join us. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah that's Eric's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome that you're going to be giving those show bands in the southeast an opportunity to showcase their talents and provide mm-hmm. them a resource for educational outreach. That's great. Precisely. Um, that's exactly. Yeah, it. yeah, that's that's super. So. Um, those of you that are tuning in uh, today can look at the descriptor um, that Beth posts and you can get to U.S. Band's website and be able to go on and see more information on those events. And I would assume, Sean, be able to register for those. Yeah, it, it, exactly. It's a very simple process. Uh, you just hit uh, create an account and away from there, you can join us for any one of those events across the country. Awesome. Well, Sean, thanks so much mm-hmm. today. And uh, everyone, Ludwig Musser, Con Summer, U.S. Bands, really, really mm-hmm. pleased uh, to be involved within this season and look forward to their events. Thanks again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.